Hello YouTubers! This channel is all about RV living, traveling, and do-it-yourself projects. Please hit the subscribe button below. Hello Tubers! Today I wanted to uh, talk about this holder I built and uh, what I think of it and why I built it. This ProMaster was first conceived as a bug out vehicle with comfort in mind. After spending two weeks in Rockport after the hurricane, this battery outperformed my highest expectations. I built this battery holder to show that anyone can take advantage of this great battery technology. More solar is being used every day because of these 18650 batteries. The more we use these batteries, the fewer that are going to see the recycling pits. Having power stored and a method to fill it back up when all power sources have failed is one of the first things on my list as far as survival. So as a bug out vehicle, this, this thing is, is a rolling power plant basically. And uh, it, it produces power like you would not believe. Um, and I hope this new battery does the same as my last one did. The positive on this uh, battery holder is that uh, it's very functional. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it and it takes very few dollars uh, to build one of these. But the negative is it's very labor intensive. And uh, this is how eight of them look. Also going to take this time to show you uh, a new design holder I have, uh, but it will be printed on a 3D printer. Um, I've got some uh, Fusion 360 drawings here I'd like to show you. If you're not familiar with Fusion 360, it's one of the best 3D modeling, modeling softwares out there. You can download it free if you're not using it commercially. I will leave a link down below so that you can download it if you're interested. This first drawing you're looking at is um, the whole holder with the spacers. Uh, if you want to print it whole, uh, you can just turn off one side of the body uh, and print one and then do the same to the other. Uh, I've got two other drawings. This is a positive drawing that positive side of the battery that I've drawn and also sliced it with a uh, slicer so I can uh, <clears throat> turn off each section and print them one at a time. So the bodies, I can turn off uh, all of them but one. I can go up to make and send it to the printer and select that one and send it to the printer. I'll slice it up and I'll let you look at it while it's actually building the layers. Takes a minute for that slicer to slice it up. And it should appear here in a second. And uh, we'll zoom in here on it and see how we want to do this so you can see it as it puts these layers down. So we'll take this and that's the first layer. And as it builds it, you'll see I've got it set at 10% fill. 
and it will just build this up there are 63 layers for this three quarter inch and it layers up when it gets through at the top that's what it looks like um, this uh, positive side of the, the uh, battery is different than the uh, negative side and what makes it different is if we tilt it back here um, let's see maybe we should turn it over so you can see it from the back side this positive side has a stop so the batteries come in from the negative side the positive side goes through up to this stop and it stops so you only have to glue this holder from the negative side it also has a place for the spacers to glue in and it also has another advantage over the, the pipe made uh, holder is that I was able to design in here let me tilt this back so maybe you can see it the wires come up through here and they come down this channel and they go under this uh, little stop right here and that means that you don't have to put any glue down through here when you're putting the bus bar in and um, then the oops we'll turn it over so this is the the end of it where the wires go in you'll let them hang over about three quarters of an inch and heat shrink them and put some glue in this hole and push it down through there and pull it tight then you'll just flip it over and snip it off flush with this side right here. Uh, this is very strong when you glue it together. I cut this with a splicing tool rather than a straight edge. And the reason for that is that when you put this together and glue it, it has a lot more surface area and it only goes together in one way. You don't have to line anything up. It's going to line itself up. So that's what the holder looks like and uh, I think I'll be able to print this in maybe in a week or so. I, I got so many things I'm doing right now I don't have time to print this. But I'll be printing this and I'll build at least one battery with this holder just to see what it looks like and uh, see how much stronger it is than the other type of holder. Let's bug out and hit the like button. Ha, ha, ha.